So my name my name's Loida Cologne. I'm co-director of Justice Committee. We just came out of a meeting with the CCRB that the CCRB requested of Gwen Carr. They actually reached out to her last week and requested this meeting. For that, we want to applaud the CCRB. Reason being that there was just a major change, right? Pantaleo was just received charges. And ideally, there'll be a prosecution coming. And within days of that, they reached out to Gwen Carr for this meeting. When at the same time, Gwen has heard nothing from the NYPD or the mayor in terms of charges or any prosecution of Sergeant Adonis. I don't know how much the media understands, but there are two separate tracks here. The Pantaleo is being prosecuted by the CCRB when a, a Sergeant Adonis is NYPD. That's right. So Gwen is going to have is going through two separate processes. The mother of Eric Garner is going through two separate processes in relation to only two police officers being held accountable for killing her son. What's important here is also that there are many, many more officers that should be held accountable. Yesterday, Gwen was at the mother of Eric Garner was at the town hall that the mayor had in Staten Island. And the mayor, mayor de Blasio had the audacity to not answer her question. She asked the mayor to commit, to tell her what he's going to do to make sure all the other officers responsible that had a role that they played in the killing of Eric Garner be held accountable. Instead, he brought her through process, the DOJ's process, the NYPD's process, but he himself did not answer her question. And when we're talking about other officers, we're actually talking about all officers who lied in their statements, which is fire, a fireable offense. We're talking about officers who not only lied in their statements, but who also were part of excessive force. We all seen right. the video. We saw that they jumped on him. They applied pressure. Although Pantaleo choked him, there were officers also on his chest. They were part of taking him down. That is excessive force. And all these officers need to be held accountable. And we want to be clear about that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have Gwen Carr, mother of Eric Garner, speak. Okay. Right in the middle. Uh -huh. yeah. Good afternoon. My name is Gwen Carr. You know that I'm the mother of Eric Garner. And... As Lorda just said, we just came from the meeting with the CCRB, and I applaud them for moving forward. But they couldn't move forward before because they didn't have a file number. So now, just so coincidentally, the day before my son's uh, anniversary, they get a file number to go go forward with this case, and now they're prosecuting Pandaleo, the NYPD is prosecuting Adonis, two separate cases, and no other officers are being held accountable. There were several officers who killed my son that day, and I want to see them all stand accountable for their misconduct. Yes, I was at the town hall meeting the other yesterday with the mayor and asked him if he would hold all of these officers accountable. And he gave me an incomplete answer. I mean, it was a long answer that he gave me, but it was incomplete. Uh, it said nothing to what I asked about him holding all the officers accountable. And this is what I want to see. Because why just hold two officers accountable when they all were involved in killing my son that day? When one of the things the mayor did do is he stood up and apologized to you. Was that the first time you had gotten an in-person apology from the mayor? And if so, what was that like? Uh -huh. No, that's not the first time. I've met with the mayor before. Um, but I'm just saying that we still need these officers fired that committed this crime. You know, And I think he should have answered that question for me. And he said nothing on that question. You know, he started telling me about the DOJ, what their process was. And, you know, 
it, it just didn't answer my question. Why are there two traps? Why, why is CCRB handling the Pantaleo case and the Well, this is the way they did it. This is, uh, um, the, the, the reason that the CCRB is prosecuting Pantaleo's case is because the NYPD never charged Pantaleo. They right. had four years. They had four years to actually charge Pantaleo, but the NYPD never charged Pantaleo. CCRB did. That's right. The NYPD only charged Sergeant Adonis. That's even right. though, like it was Pantaleo who choked Eric to death. And this is this is what we're talking about. This is the NYPD playing games. Mayor De Blasio wants to say he said it yesterday at the town hall that the NYPD did a thorough investigation and doesn't think any more officers need to be charged where, well, clearly the investigation was inadequate if they also felt that Pantaleo didn't need to be charged. Because right. Pantaleo did need to be charged and that's why it's the CCRB that's bringing the charge. That, that's prosecuting. Uh -huh. That's, That's not, not the, the case. case. It's the CCRB has <laughs> Pantaleo. That's why we met today to, to, to learn more about the process in terms of the CCRB's prosecution of Pantaleo. But I do understand what you're saying because the mayor and the and the NYPD keep saying that they're pro, that the NYPD is prosecuting, but they're not CCRB. So what did CCRB say to you And the reason. So, so the re the trial, the tr the trial for Pantaleo will be prosecuted by the CCRB. Yes. As of right now, the trial for Pantaleo is prosecuted by CCRB. Yes. Which is why we met with the CCRB so then ultimately, right now. Oh, oh, but, sorry. but just to be clear, the NYPD, the reason this is taking so long is because the CCRB could not move forward without the NYPD providing them a, a, file, a, file, number. a file number. Yes. And it's taken all of this time. They just, four days ago, just last week, they finally gave the CCRB the file number necessary to move forward in the prosecution of Pantaleo. So the NYPD, though, has been telling us it was unable to move forward because of the Justice Department dragging its feet. So and that's not, that's not true. That's not true. The NYPD Not that, that they is? couldn't, not that they couldn't, they didn't, you know. They could have moved forward anytime after April because the DOJ gave them the go-ahead and, and before, and before April, but they gave them the go-ahead that they could move forward. So then the NYPD could have moved forward at any point okay. with mm -hmm. charges against all the officers involved and chose not to. In terms of the DOJ, DOJ is something that's been getting thrown out there, but as we even saw in another chokehold killing, the killing of Anthony Baez, the NYPD actually charged and prosecuted uh, Officer Francis Lavodi prior to any of the, DO the DOJ trial in that case. So then when the CCRB has its trial, if they find him guilty, ultimately, then what jurisdiction do they have over him as to what his uh, penalty will be? The process in term the, the process in terms of discipline remains the same, where the trial will take place in one PP. Um, sorry, the judge the judge uh, Maldonado may be the one who's overseeing the case, and then Maldonado the judge will make the recommendation that will then go to the police commissioner who makes the final decision. Yes. Wait, Carl, if you can tell us about this conversation today, tell us about what happened today. Well, we just. They just told us now that they can go forward with the case because now they have a file number and that they are going to bring charges uh, for the um, obstruction of breathing and the chokehold that was used on my son. Do you feel any better after this conversation? Well, we're going to see. We're going to see where this goes from here. Do you think it's a good step or you're not sure if this is going to continue to comply? Well, we... We want all the officers prosecuted under, we don't want anything less. Can the CCRB charge the officers though? No, they can't. Only the NYPD. No, they can't. Only the NYPD. Has the power to prosecute the other officers. Uh -huh. And in terms of timeline, um, it's hard to say what the timeline is right now, at least for CCRB, because they only received, they only started receiving the files from the NYPD a few days ago. 
So they're starting from the beginning. Now on Sergeant Adonis and all the other officers that should be get that should be uh, prosecuted. prosecuted right mm -hmm. now. The NYPD has had those files and that information for, for four, four years. years. So, so why that, that, that should move forward immediately. Why do you think Sergeant Adonis was singled out and Benjamin Leo was the officer who uh, chose security? Why do you think they singled out Sergeant Adonis? That they, I don't know. It's our understanding it, that Sergeant Adonis, and also based on witness testimony, that she was actually at the scene. She was there from the beginning, and she may have... <laughs> She may have um, also been part of all the officers that stood there and did nothing. Ease up, the way she said, she said ease up, like that's not good enough. Eric Garner was being choked to death on the floor. So she deserves charges the same way. The other officers uh, uh, does. So yeah. you feel she didn't break it up or she didn't tell him to back off as the sergeant in charge of the scene? That's right. Ms. Car after four years of relatively little action whatsoever, been a lot going on in the last few days since the fourth anniversary here. Yes. Do you feel, can you just describe how now seeing progress, whatever direction it's headed, what that feels like after four years of inaction? Well, we're going to see if this progress. We're, we're still waiting to see if this process is going to give due process to these officers, I mean all the officers who was involved in my son's death. You seem to be saying that if it's just Pantaleo and the sergeant who end up getting fired and it just stays at that level, you're not satisfied? I'm no. not satisfied. What has it been like all this time and still nothing has happened? What has it been like for you? It's been a nightmare. Because I've been waiting four years for someone to come to me and tell me what is going to happen? And there's nothing. So now we got a little bit, and we're going a little forward. So we're going to see what happens with the process. And how will you monitor? Will the DCRB keep you posted? As to they have promised to keep us posted. And who do you blame for the fact that so little has happened? I, I blame the mayor, the NYPD. They're the ones who, you know, who held all the cards. No, 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 yes, no yes, Pantaleo. Case, but the NYPD would handle everybody else. Why is that? You want to explain that? So, no, uh -uh. The CCRB has authority only on certain types of misconduct. It's called FATO, it's force, abuse of authority, disrespect, offensive language. So when officers, as in this case, actually lied in official reports or failed to render aid, those kind of charges can only be brought by the NYPD. It's not within CCRB's jurisdiction to be able to charge or prosecute. So that's why Ms. Carr is demanding that all of these other officers be charged, prosecuted, and fired as soon as possible, and not wait till 2019. Um, we're still waiting on the Department of Justice, and of course, I'm expecting a, a positive decision. What do you think about the DOJ? No, but right now, we're dealing with the NYPD because these are the ones who are bringing the charges now, and the uh, CCRB. This is who I'm focusing on now because. It's in their hands. And Ms. Carr, the mayor did answer you by saying the NYPD already decided just two officers. So you asked him the question and he said that's already been decided. But you, that's not good enough. In your mind, he I, I, want, I wanted him to commit to prosecuting the other officers. And I want him to commit to that. That's what my question. Will you commit to prosecuting the other officers? So another question about the DOJ. It's been four years, so the Obama administration had two years to do something about it. Trump inherited it. Uh -huh. What do you uh -huh. think about the uh -huh. fact that now through two different administrations, they appear to be dragging their feet? Well, we can't control them. So that's why we have to hold the NYPD accountable, because they're the one who's taking the steps now. So um, we're focusing on the NYPD right now. You guys have pointed out that none of the officers physically have been charged uh, by the or disciplined by the NYPD. While it is true, Sergeant Adonis was at the scene and in command and does deserve accountability in terms of most people's uh, uh, belief system. Uh, 
lot of you think it is that the NYPD didn't charge any of the people who were physically killing the American embassy. That's actually a question that we want all of you in the media to ask the NYPD, because we can't speak for them. We don't know why. I mean, we're talking about officers who actually changed and who lied in their statements. We're also talking about officers who changed witness testimony. We can't have officers on the force who are changing witness testimony. So we asked the media to ask them, why? Why, why only Adonis? Why only Sergeant Adonis? How about all the officers, all the other officers? Why did it didn't, it shouldn't take CCRB to prosecute Pantaleo. The NYPD should have brought those charges, but they didn't. Right. And that's what we need you, we need the, the media to ask those questions of the NYPD. Ms. Far, your thoughts on that? Those are my sentiments exactly. Uh, Loida, L-O-Y-D-A, Colon, C-O-L-O-N, the co-director of Justice Committee. Any, any final questions? You have to ask them that. I ask that question every day. No, they. I, oh, I have investigated that. They are. Uh, they were on administrative duty. Right now, I don't know what they're doing. But in the beginning, they were on administrative duty. They weren't allowed to go out. What do you think happened at that scene? Why they? Why they weren't? The police officers waved them off. That's what happened. Are you, are you also well, aware? And how do you feel about the fact that that park? Heroin capital of Staten Island. I'm not here to talk about that. And now all the police officers and officers there have been told. We don't we don't want to veer that we're that's, not veering off topic. Like, that's another to conversation. You're right, but that's another conversation. We want to talk about the prosecution of these officers right now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.